And this is our very first episode of The Kidnapper Reads and Responds. Um, this is going back here several months. I'm going to say uh, probably back to April. The message has been deleted out of my account, which means whoever sent it to me, he deleted his account. Um, basically what happened is there was a guy who was going under the alias of Chris Hansen, the uh, Dateline to Catch a Predator guy. Um, and he sent me a message, a very genuine message, and he was very upset by... Well, first of all, he said he was a big DID fan and a big fan of mine and the work that I'm doing. And he wanted me to speak about this because, like I had said in the video earlier today, I'm seen as a authoritative figure on this topic and I reach a large audience. Um, so he wanted me to speak about... He, he was very upset and he said the reason he created this Chris Hansen account was to call out perverts on YouTube who were going around to these channels, these challenge channels, you know, all these magicians and the challenges, and trying to get people, specifically children, uh, to make them custom fetish videos. And that is a, something that I have seen a lot of. I really don't watch... Um, these challenge videos anymore. I have seen a few of them. Most of them are pretty stupid and they only, uh, you know, show, they show deceptive thumbnails to get people to click and then the video is really crappy. Um, you know, you know, I, the one that I made back in March of last year was decent. It was pretty good. People who saw the original version, but you know, most of these, you know, these are not damsel in distress videos, not even close, most of them. But this guy sent me a message and he wanted me to speak about this and speak out about people trying to take advantage of people um, that are going around asking for things for free. And here's my response to him. I can tell you that because uh, he had contacted Mainstream Distressor as well. And I shared with him my response, so I have that here. This is what I sent in response to Chris Hansen's long thought out message about wanting me to speak up against these people. My response is, I agree 100% with everything you're saying. I don't know how long you've been following my work, but my very first upload was an escape challenge video with the first girl I worked with. Boy, was that a mistake. I wish I would have opened my channel up with the Kidnapper's Corner a couple years back and then made an original production. Granted that girl was an adult, but the amount of perverts who showed up asking for custom made content was just pathetic. I have actually spoken about this in some of my videos, I have mentioned that a few times. And believe me, I've noticed this activity on other channels. All of these so called challenge channels where the only videos with any views are the ones with bondage involved. I really I feel really bad for the unaware creators, especially now because YouTube ad revenue is virtually non-existent, who put so much time into their content and really don't have anyone watching who actually cares. As far as making a video directly about this, maybe in the next couple of weeks, well, I was a little late, uh, let me think about how to do it. And this is how I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, uh, basically like exactly what I said there. Um, you know, that was a mistake of mine. Um, you know, like if I could go back and do it differently, I had an opening in recent time. I mean, there's a lot of things I'd do differently now, knowing what I know now. Technology's a lot different now with YouTube than it was, you know, a decade ago and whatnot and other platforms. But, you know, had, uh, had I started doing this even to say, let's say the summer of 2014, I would have had an opportunity to begin doing this. I wish that I would have opened up with the Kidnapper's Corner. I wish I'd have known Greek damsels then and known all the tricks about YouTube and metadata and, you know, how to run a good channel back before, way before the advertising boycott and things were going well. And, you know, 
I wish I'd have got in, uh, got my fan base established with that, and then made the kidnap production and made it patron only, and then the ambush production and whatnot, and things could possibly be, you know, on a different level right now. Obviously, I'm a lot newer now than I would have been that way, but, you know, that's kind of my mistake. And as I told him in this video, uh, or in this response, I should say, I dealt with this. If you recall when I told people that I wasn't going to keep putting the ambushed uh, production out, there were about 20 or 30 people who went off on me and cried like little babies, uh, probably because they were small children uh, who weren't going to get their way and get their way for free. I had so many people in the, in the, 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 the remix of that challenge with Sasha has been unlisted. I don't even have that on the channel anymore. Um, it's still uploaded in case somebody tries to download it or to try and re-upload it so I can get it taken down for stealing my property. But, um, yeah, it's just uh, it's one of those things. It was, it was a bad way to start this brand with those challenge videos. And I've had people ask about them before. If I ever did one of those again, it wouldn't be uploaded publicly. Uh, YouTube age-restricted uh, the last one. Uh, that remix so that's why I enlisted it basically not only that because it you know it's pointless now and uh, you know even uh, even snow flashes uh, I had some people message me about that channel before even his most watched videos got age restricted uh, with his hot friend the one on the trampoline and it's because it could be dangerous for kids as they thought mine was as well so yeah, but I, I see these people going around asking for stuff, people to do stuff for them. Uh, it makes you look really bad. If you're trying to get something for uh, your own personal pleasure for free off of these kids and these husband and wife couples, there's so many of these people that actually think that people are watching their channel because people are fans of them and they're not. Um, you look at their, You look at their videos, you look at the views, the one that involves duct tape has 20 times, 30 times more views than all the other ones. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious what's going on here. So, you know, don't be a creep. Don't be cheap. You know, basically. So, yeah, I, I agree with everything this guy said. And uh, people do need to stop asking for things for free, especially from kids, and try to take advantage of them. So, it's a good thing he was doing that, but apparently he closed his account. So, yeah, I don't, you know, well, maybe he'll see this and like that I finally did a video about it. But that's your first uh, Kidnapper Reads and Responds. So, thanks guys.